welcome to the 22nd episode of the MC Knitting Adventures podcast. My name's Colleen. And my name is May. Welcome to returning viewers. And for those of you who are watching us for the first time, welcome. Today's adventure takes us to a little place called Thorndale, which is just outside of where we live. Um, and it is taking us to an alpaca farm and it's called Zeraldo's Alpacas. And we're great excited time. to share uh, that adventure with you. And it's owned by Debbie and Carlo Zeraldo. And uh, we'll be talking about that, but first of all, Colleen will talk about what we're wearing. So first of all, let's talk about what May's wearing. She is wearing the Agent 99 cowl by Donna Maurer. So the Fiber Friends podcast, um, Adrian, Louise, and Caroline were having a knit along. And I decided I wanted to do some of the Agent 99 cowls. And so I was also working on something for, um, the kids for Christmas and as a result I had these colors and this yarn is Barocco um, Comfort so it's nylon and acrylic so there's the ball band and you know I could put a picture of that ball band up because one of our friends had suggested that we take pictures of the ball bands and show them up so well let's try that today okay. I'll try a picture of that and we'll put it up so that you can actually read those ball bands perfect be a good idea I know that I'm going to still try and hold it up <laughs> and, and I okay. apologize <laughs> We can do both. That's right. What May and I did was we went on to the yarncanada.ca because I wanted to be able to get this Barocco Comfort and I needed to get the important colors. So May did a little bit of work with Photoshop and we looked at the website and we found the navy and the gold and the red and the green that were really, really close. And we loved those colors. Now, why did we choose those colors? Because they're Hudson's Bay colors. <laughs> they are, they Hudson's, are Bay. Hudson's Bay colors. And if you look over, uh, those of you who are not from Canada, the Hudson's Bay was a trading company way back in the day. And they used these colors. Uh, now, there's a lot of stores, like Hudson's Bay is a store that carries these, yes. but it's not trademarked to Hudson's Bay Company. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought this was just a Hudson's Bay thing, but it's not. <laughs> um, so these colors were actually dubbed uh, Queen uh, Anne's colors back in 1700s. Oh, okay. And it's because the, it was easy pr they were easy to produce back then. Oh, cool. Yeah. So go. they're not trademarked or anything like that. So it's uh, great and they're lovely colors. But I will, I'm going to try and find some photos to put up of some of the other displays that they have of the Hudson's Bay colors, like they have uh, scarves and mitts and blankets. Generally, you associate this with Absolutely. a blanket, but they've come out with coats and um, actually even cup holders and all kinds <laughs> of things with these colors. Right. So the fact that we're going to do these for our kids for Christmas um, is kind of exciting. Exactly. So I had a little bit of yarn left and made this one for me and I'm absolutely thrilled. I, I love really, it. It it's looks so really soft. nice on you. The yarn was great. The yarn came uh, in a package or a box. Yes. Not a problem there. The colors yeah. worked out wonderful and I love it. It's soft and uh, I don't know, it's really bright and it's lovely. Yes, absolutely. And what I'm wearing is the Hitchhiker. I've worn this one before. It's by Martina Bem. You have worn that before? I have. And I like it because it's it's not too big, so it's just starting to get cool now, and that's going to help me be a little bit warmer. And this is a Sweet Georgia Party of Five, once again, there we go. And this is the graphite colorway. And so it's got, it goes from uh, black to a light gray. And I like it because it sits nice on black, it'll sit nice on white or gray, and uh, it's really, really comfy and easy to wear. So nice. I like that. Okay. All right, so that's what we're wearing, and next we're going to talk about finished objects. My first finished object ends up being a bunch of objects. So once again, we were in that Agent 99 Cowl Cal um, with the Fiber Friends, and I decided that I really liked the pattern very, very much. This is this pattern? That is that pattern. All right. Um, and what I used was Lion Brand's Shawl in a Ball. And I will give you that ball band, and if you can take that picture, we'll put it Absolutely, up. That would yes. be great. So once again, that's that Agent 99 Cowl by Don Maurer. Brilliant, and you can get a lot out of a skein of this yarn. So we, I'm started. I'm not going to say who these Christmas presents are for, but these are Christmas presents. So just take a look. So there is a one that is called. Um, it's a blue gradient, and it's nice that you don't have to change colors. And it is exactly what it says, shawl in a ball. But I think I probably could get at least three out of one skein. I got the yarn at Michael's. It's easy to take care of. And so I'm really happy with that one. 
It's going to make a great gift. It's so light, too. Right. So I just want to show you. So if you hold that one up. Okay. And I'll hold this one up. This comes from the same skein of yarn. And you can see, if I hold it, yeah, the blues are very, very different. And so it's nice. But there it makes two separate uh, different scarves, colors a little yeah. bit. Still blue, still beautiful. This one has a little bit more tealy blue in it. Right. It's still the same skein of yarn, though. So it is brilliant that way. That's going to be really nice. Yes, same and then we had one that starts with kind of a peachy color and goes into a burgundy color and ends up kind of with a magenta color. So we're not saying, but I know exactly who those colors are for. <laughs> I do too, but we're, we aren't saying. So we had to keep some surprises going on. Oh, those are great. Wonderful yes. job on those. And Dawn did a great job on that pattern. Easy to follow. It's great. And it really shows up with the contrast of knits and pearls. And I absolutely love it. She did a great job. And so did you. Well, thank you so much. Now, I also needed to enter um, the blue brick cowl that uh, the Cozy Up Knits were having. So those are the four sisters from Grand Prairie, Alberta. You saw these almost done last time. So here is how it will sit on May. This is for May. This is the oh, waterfall nice. color colorway. This is the escarpment cowl. And this is Yes, the waterfall colorway, and it is escarpment DK. It'll be interesting to see how this sits on. I haven't had this one on yet. I don't right, believe. so it'll just fit over your head a right. lot like what you're wearing right now. I do need to block it. I think this piece right down here, I think I'm going to need to just kind of stretch it out a little bit, to stretch out some of that garter, and that'll I think I'll wear out. this on the next podcast. I, think I know, be it's beautiful, and that so color is going to be brilliant Yes, I on love you. that color. Yeah. Great. I'm going to be known as the uh, cow queen. I have so many cows to choose. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and my last finished object was also for this blue brick cow. And it is the Emmy. I don't want to interrupt, but was that for the contest also? Or no? This was, this was for the one in with the um, Cozy Up Knits. And these ones were for the ones with the Fiber Friends. Okay. So this is the same as this one. This one. Exactly. Okay. And you and I both like the waterfall colorway. <laughs> And um, so we both end up with something. Oh, this is so. Is this got cashmere? This, this has is the cashmere. One cashmere. In it. Yes, okay. it does. We've had so this there discussion. There it is, this and feels... I love how it ends oh. at the. I love this. Um, it feels beautiful too, too. And this is a single ply, so it's called Manitoulin Silky Single Ply by the Blue Brick, and it blocks brilliantly. So it opens up. It they say that the yarn blooms is the word that they use but it is so pretty and the texture is just amazing so i am absolutely thrilled with that and i can hardly wait to wear it it's it is gorgeous it feels amazing it looks thank you great so much the colors are awesome everything about this is wonderful so great job on that now i have to tell you something okay so we entered i entered the Fiber Friends podcast, um, the Agent 99 Cal, and we were selected. <laughs> we were selected. Yeah, I had a great part in that. <laughs> <laughs> and they said how wonderful May's knitting was, <laughs> which we all know. May doesn't knit, but that's okay. It was good, and we're happy that we won. MC that Knitting one. Adventures won. MC we knitting as a team won, but yes, I had nothing did. to do with it, just so you know, and just on the record. We also. Oh my goodness, oh, no, we no. also won, um, we were selected by the Cozy Up Knits for their Blue Brick Cal. So there's prizes coming our way. And they're way. all selected, they're not selected for, for your work, they're just random uh, Random selections. number generator. Yes. So the neat thing is the beginning of November is my birthday. And it was almost like I got these presents because they would say, you and you won. And yeah, then I was watching was somebody else and they say that they won. So once we get the prizes, which I know are along on their way, we'll, um, show them. we'll show them to you and let you know what we won. I was thrilled. I've entered other things and not been selected, but it was really, really nice to yeah, be selected. It was. It was great. Exactly. So those are my finished objects. So May, what's your finished object? Well, as you can see from behind here, we have a calendar. So I do a little bit of photography and I also do some painting. But today I thought I would uh, show some of my photography and I had them put into a calendar. This happened to be of our Scotland trip, this calendar. And I'm going to flip through this book right here. And this book right here is of my friend, um, horse farm that we went to visit and this is into a calendar also some of her her daughter and her horse and that yeah, so you, you, did you a can great see job. and you can see by these photos that's how it turns out now here's what I've done also because Deb Debbie and Carlo from the Geraldo 
alpaca farm were so kind to us they gave us a tour and we got to see the alpacas that you saw from the photos they were so kind to us as what i've done is made a calendar um, of her alpacas for debbie and carlo and oh, they're uh, gonna love that. i just haven't had it finished for this podcast but um i'm hoping that maybe i'll get some photos of that and i can show you that on our next podcast so that but this great. these ones were just to give you the idea of what that might look like so and the calendars are brilliant. They are beautiful. You yes. did an amazing yeah, job. Yeah, they're not too expensive either to do that. And then you've got 12, you know, fairly good sized photos if you wanted to ever use the photos and put them in a frame. So that it's a great be. idea for a Christmas it is present fantastic. and that type of thing. So that is my finished objects. Mm. Next, we're going to talk about works in progress. My first work in progress is a campsite cardi. And it is a pattern by Alicia Plummer. And I saw this on Codacy Up Knits. The girls were making them, and I thought, I want to do that. So this is, I've made sweaters. Sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't. So what I did was I swatched. I blocked my swatch, um, and now I'm knitting away. The yarn I'm using for my campsite cardi is Estelle Double Knit. It's beautiful yarn. I'm really, really happy with it, and I can hardly wait to have a cardigan in this. And I love it. So I'm just going to flip okay. this over because this is a top-down cardigan. So I've kind of thrown it over my shoulders. I've checked my stitch gauge. If you can see all the lovely yarn overs that make the holes, it's fantastic. And I like it. It's nice and soft. It's, now, have you made this kind of sweater before where it's top-down, or is this your first experience with a top-down I sweater? have made little top-down pullovers for kids, but I've never made myself a top-down cardigan. It's coming along quite nicely. I think it'll be interesting to see what that looks like when it's all done. I am very excited about yeah. it, because you know, in the winter, you just want to throw this on. I thought, this color is actually called French navy, and it's, so it's not dark, dark navy, but I thought with a white turtleneck, Oh, look great. Nice and comfy with a pair of soft jeans. Too. Yes, so I'm really excited about that. It's a lovely pattern. So Alicia Plummer is doing that one. Now, this is a pair of socks called Katie Lou's Sock Pattern. You like and this it pattern? It is by Dragon Pine Designs. Now, here's what's happened. I decided I was going to make socks for our kids once a year for their birthday. And then the first year I did that, this was the pattern that I used. And everybody liked it and it fit everybody's feet. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I guess that's the pattern I'm gonna use. <laughs> so when I'm doing things for our feet, then I'm gonna change it Spare up a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, but for them, I like to do that. Now this is called um, Premier Yarns Wool Free Brights. And it is um, acrylic and 93% uh, acrylic and 7% nylon. Feels great. It does feel, and I've worked with this type of yarn, but not this kind of color. So these by Premier Yarns, and this is the blue, right? So it's a bright blue. Now, I must admit... I when, see you've got those easels again. Yes, the these are the Chow Gu Fixed Circular. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love them. They're nice for in the car because you're not worried about losing a double pointed needle somewhere and i really really like it i'm going to hold it up nice and close so the blue is brilliant it's a nice bright blue the gray is lovely i must admit when i start knitting on the black i need to get extra light on it so i find knitting black is difficult um but Can i you put something white like something white on your lap or something yes with that that's help? what i started doing last year i just took a white pillowcase and put it over my lap so that I, I can see the black against the white and it worked really well so thanks for reminding me to tell them that because i really like that idea so that's a pair of socks now i'm lucky because scott's birthday isn't until february so i've got some time to get these done i always like having a pair of socks on the needles though mm -hmm. it's just i you know sometimes you have doctor's appointments dentist appointments you have to wait for your car whatever it is you can pull this out of your purse and knit away okay. so i love it now the last work in progress is a pattern that's called gold dust by lisa hands i think i'm saying that right so there it is in gold now I didn't make it in gold because I had this one skein of blue. And this is called Prince William. It's dream in color, smooshy with cashmere. So it's got some cashmere in it. And I love this. And this is a, a pattern that's gonna block. So if you pull on your end and I'll pull on my end a little bit without, okay, there we go. There we go. And you can see that the holes are gonna open up. 
It's a great size for it you, I think. It is a great size. And the nice thing about this pattern is you get to use, like this is what I've got left. I've got about two or three more rows of garter to do and then I need to bind off. So I love this pattern. And it's, you said one skein? Did I one skein. That right? So I went on to, um, the Grocery Girls have a Ravelry group, which I am part of, and they have there, a, it has a little tab that says bundles. And so what you can do is click on that and then there are bundles of patterns. So if it is a one skein shawl, there's a bundle with that. And I went in there and I click, click, click just to see what I liked. I found this pattern. I thought that's going to be perfect. And so I was really thrilled with that. Oh, nice. So they can do that. Yeah. So it's nice. Ravelry is brilliant, but sometimes you can get down that rabbit hole and not be able to get back out. But when it's a bundle and you know exactly what you're looking for, it's really, really I go helpful. down rabbit holes, but it's never with yarn. It's always with, <laughs> I don't know, the royal family or something like that. Exactly. That's, that's my rabbit hole. Now, what I'm going to show you is a skein of yarn that May and I dyed. But I want to show you... The reason why I'm showing you this is because I want to do this gold dust pattern for May. I might make it a little smaller. I might have it so that I sew the back together. I think it would be lovely. This yarn is beautiful. I love the color. It turned out quite nice. Yes. So what we did was we did a teal blue. And I'm not sure if you can see the little flecks of purple that are in there. Is this the one we did with... Uh... The Kool-Aid? Yes, this is the one we did with the Kool-Aid. <gasps> I can't believe it turned out like that. I know. Now, this cake doesn't look like a cake. <laughs> it looks kind of like a grapefruit. <laughs> yeah, what happened? <laughs> you know what? I don't really know. <laughs> I know that one of the ties that was holding it steady came off. And then when I was trying to wind it off, it was not in good shape. So I was a very patient soul. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why my mother called my stubborn when I was little. <laughs> I prefer determined. But anyway, and so what I did was just a little bit every day, and I gra gradually got it. Now, I'm wondering if somebody out there that does dye yarn and mm -hmm. does tie it up, if they have kind of an idea for us, that because that seems to be a bit of a problem. Maybe they it have is. another idea of how to do that without it nodding. I know. You know, there might be a trick that yes. we don't know about. So perhaps I should use, I used a, almost a worsted weight yarn, to do the tying, it was acrylic, but I'm wondering if I should use finer yarn, but do it in more places. Maybe That's that a thought. Work, right? But just, you know, comment below, let me know what I need to do because I don't want to do that again. <laughs> that was a, almost a full-time job trying to get that into there. Your poor I thing. know it's going to look beautiful on you, so right. I can hardly wait to get working on that. Yeah, yep, it's wait. your color. It looks yeah. great. So those are my works in progress. And next we're going to talk about our adventure. As you know, our adventure today took us to a little place called Thorndale. And Thorndale is a little farming community outside the outskirts of London as to where we live. Uh, so not too far to go. Not too far. I think it may be a 20 minute, half an hour drive. Not That's far right. At all. It was brilliant. It was great. And we took our little adventure to Geraldo Alpacas Farm. Mm -hmm. And it is owned by, like I said before, Debbie and Carlos, which were, Debbie was a great hostess. She gave us the tour. We also went there with our friends, Carrie and Linda, who yeah. are awesome. We spent the day with them. It was great. Um, I didn't realize how much was involved in uh, an alpaca farm. Mm -hmm. Those, I mean, you have to take care of those animals. Like um, Debbie takes, feeds them twice a day. Um, they have to be um, sheared once a year. Okay. Uh, you know, like sheep mm -hmm. sheared once a year, and then once they're sheared, all that stuff goes to New Brunswick, and they sort it all out. And, it's a lot uh, of work. It is. And it's all Canadian stuff, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, now, you saw a picture of the donkey in there. That was by mistake. But they have <laughs> that donkey, too, to keep the coyotes away because the coyotes will come and kill the alpacas. Oh, if okay. Take. They I'm glad barn. we have the donkey. That's good. Yeah, and they had barn cats there. Um, but, again, it's a lot of work and a lot of money to take care of these uh, lovely animals. Uh, I found them to be intelligent, uh, gentle. I found them inquisitive. Did exactly. you have a yes, you definitely them? inquisitive? Yes. You know, we actually were were able to go in their, um, I guess it's their fenced area. fenced in area. We were able to go in. Um, some of them like to be petted, and some eel. didn't. Yeah, yeah. Frisky, but, but it, was, it nice. was great, and it was neat to see them up close. And they're so Touched soft, them, yeah. and um, so it was really really neat. And Debbie was so 
knowledgeable about everything and it mm -hmm. makes you have such a better appreciation, appreciation of, of the yarn. Kind of yarn. Exactly. Absolutely. Now that fiber is so soft and warm and luxurious. Mm -hmm. It's just a lovely, lovely fiber. They used to call it the fiber of the gods. Oh, wow. But also back in the day, it was those people that were in royalty that used to wear that fabric that was... Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's amazing. That, that was true. They're part of the Lama family, camel. They're all kind of intertwined, like, you know, those mm -hmm. kind of animals. Um, but also, you know, there's a huge expense, like I was saying, about they've got the vet bills, the toenails need to be cut twice a year, uh, you know, all those things that, and Debbie has to be tied down, really, to look after those animals. So I really appreciated, like you said, about where they came from, and uh, we yeah. appreciate that much more when you know what's exactly. involved and she um, was so good to take that time because she was with us for a couple of hours oh, yes. and it was wonderful right and she does tours and all that type of thing too so it's great and now they they come in like about 22 different colors um those color colors are natural so when you see the uh, alpaca browns and blacks those aren't dyed those are actually the colors of the alpacas wow yeah so uh, and you can dye that yarn though yeah you can dye the alpaca if you want i know that um Debbie has done some work with some natural dyes. Right. So she had something that was pink that was beautiful. And she had soap that was felted uh, with that. She exactly. had soap. And she also has classes for soap. She has the dryer ball. She had classes for that that I and would I love to, to do. And I want to take them. Yes. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, we're yeah, going to do that in the that. spring. Okay. Um, <laughs> just a great place to be. The farm was lovely. And, uh, you know, they were well taken care of. You can see Debbie has a, you know, passion for what she's doing with exactly. those animals and they're just so much taken care of and, and all the products are Canadian which is awesome and you mm -hmm. might pay Absolutely. a little bit more but but it is again all Canadian now um, did I mention that the llamas um, the alpaca spit they spit a little bit when they get a little anxious I think <laughs> and people think it's actually their spit but it's actually their stomach content oh even worse but we yeah, didn't see any we of that. Didn't see that they were very kind with us yeah, like they, say, were they were really very good. gentle they yeah. were good with us but they are known to uh, to spit a little bit um, great, great day. We, like I say, we went with our friends Lynn, Linda and Carrie. Uh, it was nice to spend some time with them. Linda and Carrie were nice enough to have us over for dinner. A uh, little glass of wine, a little chatter about our day. <laughs> you know, great. we couldn't have asked for a better adventure. Wasn't it that was, great? It was a fantastic yep. adventure. And uh, funny, Carrie and Linda were the couple that uh, had gone to Ireland. And so we were able to talk about uh, that too. We had mm -hmm. that in common. So it was great. great. So we had a wonderful day. You can also go out, go on the website, um, Geraldo Alpacas. You can Google that. And it's uh, I Love Thorndale article. And it's all about oh, Thorndale okay. and the article about that. If you're interested right. in hearing more about Thorndale yeah. and those, uh, just Google it. That's fantastic. And uh, I know that Debbie has a website too. Exactly. And, and I just want to mention that she has some Christmas shopping days coming up. So on Saturday, December 1st, from 10 to 5, on Sunday, December 2nd, from 11 to 5, on Saturday, December 8th, from 10 to 5, and Sunday, December 9th, from 11 to 5. And I will tell you that at the end of our visit, she spread out all this yarn all over her table, and I thought, oh, how could you pick? How do I pick? So I am going to take myself to one of these shopping days and I am going to have a good time. She has socks. She has insoles. She has some of the felted soap. Um, oh, she had, uh, yeah, the insoles were great. I hope we can pick a pair of those up when we go there because those will keep your feet warm in this kind absolutely, of weather too. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And so if you're around Thorndale, please make sure you uh, visit one of her uh, days that you can you can go there. It would, would be great. great. It was yeah. well worth it well was the drive uh, and uh, yeah it was wonderful yeah we had a great time so thanks Debbie we really appreciate it next we're going to talk about our souvenirs my souvenir that I got is this beautiful skein of yarn it's called Emperor's Groove three ply chunky it's 85% alpaca and it's 15% merino it's 200 yards 178 grams and I have to tell you, it is so soft. Luxurious. Oh, oh, I would think. Yes. I know. So I am going to make myself a pair of mittens out of this. And I think they will be so warm. I am not a fan of the cold, I must admit. So I like my knits and I think this is going to be beautiful. I have to tell you, I'm hoping when I go out again to pick up a few more souvenirs. 
the reason for that is it was just so much there and I really would like to have a pattern in mind. I know that alpaca can stretch a little bit so I know I don't want to be making a sweater out of it but I do know that I want to be grabbing some more of this These yarn. These would be warm mitts I think. They would be great. really really warm. So I don't know I may get some yarn to make something for me you never know. Um, and hopefully our calendar will be done for by then uh, yes. that we can give Debbie uh, yeah. our calendar and hopefully you get an opportunity to visit uh, the alpaca farm. In now Jordan. you were mentioning something about they have gift certificates. Excellent. Uh, yep, she has felted sole, pandemic accessories, bird nesting material, um, wool dryer balls, gift certificates, and uh, well worth a drive if you can make Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So area. if you have an opportunity, there's four days in the next few weeks. Go there, enjoy. Um, she is a lovely hostess, and I think it's going to be a great time there. So that is our adventure, which was quite an adventure. We great, had the animals, um, it was a great time. It's really neat to see where your yarn comes from. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like if you're a chef or a cook, right. and you go out in and you have real chickens, and you have, you know, all this stuff is growing on the earth, and then you get to bring that in and cook. It's kind of the same idea. You get to see the, the yarn and appreciate all the work that goes into that, exactly. um, and what takes place in order to have that end product. Uh, yeah. You know, it was really enlightening for me anyway. Yeah, we learned a lot. Yeah. Thanks, Debbie, for taking time. Thank you to you who are watching. We really appreciate that you're spending time with us. Please subscribe, like, comment down below. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see, any other adventures. We had somebody mention that we should go out to Coburg. And so I'm thinking, okay, Coburg's we're going to put this on the list. I don't know where it is, but I'm going, I'm game. Where is Coburg? Do you know where that is? I do. I do. So we talked about a summer road trip. So I think we may end up in Coburg. Okay. I'm exactly. Game. So we enjoy our adventures and thanks for coming along with us. So until next time, you take care.